I welcome all of you on your PD education and you are getting the detailed informations on uh, this particular channel related to your uh, jobs and uh, higher education opportunities abroad. Now in this particular process one very important link, one very important thing uh, which will complete the entire supply chain of opportunities abroad is internship opportunity. You see, once you graduate, you go for MS. Once you do MS, you go for PhD. Once you do PhD, you go for postdoctorate fellowship. And parallel, BTEC, MTech, PhD people can go for jobs. That is what we so far uh, talked about. Now, there is a very big opportunity for those students who are presently in graduation. That is a second year, third year. And uh, also those who are doing masters and even PhD. So, those of you who want to go for small duration, let's say two, three months abroad and work in some kind of research area with some professors who are working in your favorite domain of research. That is called internship. Now, internship in foreign universities is both paid as well as self-sponsored. You have to pay from your pocket or you may also get scholarship. Now, how much scholarship you will get and which university you get which country you get, which professor you get, which research area you get, that largely depend upon your effort. Opportunities are there. So, now we will start dedicated information campaign for those of you who are interested in such internships. They can be from couple of weeks to couple of months. Internships are like that. And there are so many opportunities, you know. All you need to do is you need to knock. And unlike opportunities available in MS and PhD, there are dedicated sites, there are dedicated you know, portals where you get information, but internship you do not get such information at one particular dedicated portal. There are less, very less portal which suggests you that okay this professor is looking for and moreover professors sometimes don't look for candidate for internship. You approach them and then they say okay you can come, something like that because you are doing training under them and uh, they are not inducting you on any project or they are not giving you any degree. So, internship ke liye you need to approach them. They may not be requiring you know your, uh, your research services. Now, uh, what is the best way to get such internship? The best way to get such internship is only to approach these professors. So, if you ask me sir how to get internship is the your CGPA criteria is your learning criteria, research paper criteria, answer is no. For getting internship in these countries, the approach required is little different. You need to basically do some kind of analysis. You need to find out the area in which you want to go for and respect, respective professor. This university, this professor is working in this area, something like that. And then you have to identify the lab, you have to identify the professor. And this is something which is most important, you know, this is something which is most important. So, what you have to do is, you have to mail the professor. I will discuss in detail what is cold mailing. This is called cold mailing domain. And your PDA is going to guide you thoroughly for cold mailing. Mail again. Then mail again. Then again mail. Keep mailing. Keep mailing till you get this. Till you get yes from the professor. This, this is what works. Now, sir, same mail should we send and in one day should we send it 20 times? No. There is always a way. Every mail should be something different, something new, something more interesting and professor should like it and he should see that you are actually in real need, not that you are irritating him. So, sir, mailing again and again can irritate him also? Yes. Mailing again and again can impress him also? Yes. And that is what you need to learn. How to mail repeatedly? and what should be the content in that and that is what is required. So, those of you who actually are good in this, despite of their poor CGPA or poor grades and you know less learning in particular area, they manage to get internships. Now, as I told you it can be paid, it can be uh, self-sponsored. So, why you should spend money and, and you, you should understand that normally if you go for 2-3 months, you end up spending money from your pocket. That is what happens normally because scholarship also is not huge. But you go through those countries for let's say two months. Your airfare, your staying there, your expenditure, that can cost you. Two, three lakh rupees, anything it can cost you. But is that money worth spending? 
my answer to that is yes why because the biggest advantage of internship is international exposure learning exposure that is one part biggest advantage is like when you plan to go for ms or uh, ms or phd abroad then this 2 to 3 lakh rupee can save your 5 to 6 lakh later on how much ms cost you in us 30 lakh uk 25 lakh germany 15 lakh and how much you are spending on internship 1.5 to 2 lakh let's say for one month two months you went there you saw the professor you impressed him you managed to get a scholarship for ms you saved 5 lakh you understand that so spending 1.5 lakh or 2 lakh rupees can help you to save 5 6 lakh and at the same time can provide you opportunity for ms and now you know that okay i would like to work with him not him but in other university you may catch somebody else also you can approach somebody else also that i want to go for that so this is less spending but big basically gain or benefit that is the best part of internship so why student go for internship international exposure learning uh, other things are okay but collaboration and conversion into something big is the main reason why you should go for that keep watching your PD is going to give you dedicated information lot of information and if you want to attend the regular zoom interactions of Rahul sir Ankit sir related to these internships and all you can fill the Google form attached so that more information is provided to you thank you